Hello everyone, this is T Fury 017, and I am currently about to be playing some Code Vein today. Um, currently, this is a tutorial. Unfortunately, you cannot skip it, but uh, let's jump right in. I'm gonna let her talk now, and uh, I'll start uh, giving you guys advice on what I think of the game um, during it. So I'll be back. Oh wait, well, now she's gone, so, so much for that. Uh, let's just see. Alright, so she wants some a fighter, blood code. In the, you know, doing my little slashes or whatever, because you know, that's the thing. Oh, for those that are curious, my uh, character's name is Akiro. Just thought I'd throw that out there, you know, tell people my character's name because, you know, I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool at least. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Ikor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Okay, Ikor gifts. Weak attack, dodge, guard. I mean, I've done this before. This is actually my second playthrough of the game. Um, this is the first time I actually decided to stream anything. But, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you guys like this. And I'm always open to suggestions. I'm just going to hack this guy. Yeah, that, that was just continuously hitting the square button that particular time. So, equivalent of R1 spam. <laughs> in Dark Souls. Well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. And now we got the ranger. Code is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. It's really surprising that the uh, one-bladed sword or the one-handed sword would be so heavy for a ranger, considering it's like one of the lighter and weaker dealing, uh, weaker damage output weapons in the game. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. So yeah, as you can see, I get a lot quicker movement because uh, he gets his skill that really basically makes him uh, skate on air. Kind of reminds me of Wisdom Form from Kingdom Hearts, honestly. That sums up the Ranger blood code and training. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, you know, I make mistakes in games, so occasionally I do die, but because I want this to be kind of a, a walkthrough Let's Play, you know, I did make some edits to the video you're currently watching, just because 
I wanted to, you know, not have to see me go through the entire level again because I died. So um, you'll notice there are some transitions. They're smooth, so they won't, they shouldn't jerk you guys at all, but you, you'll probably notice them and that's why I may have died and I didn't want to end up having you guys see me go through that again because, you know, I might die multiple times sometimes um it does have difficulty i mean this is uh this is dark souls for basically weeds so it's like anime souls and it lives up to that you know One thing I will tell you, just uh, so you guys do know, just so you guys do know, um, that ranger, uh, you know, that fire that I just grabbed, it takes kind of, it has kind of a not super quick uh, output. Like, you know, you're going to have to do your hand sign in the air and then shoot it and blast it at someone's face. But you might get hit before then. Which is why I actually like this other fire spell that I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about when I'm able to show you guys in the game. Right now we gotta get to this tutorial. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Okay, that should probably conclude that particular tutorial. Awaken. Um... Revenant transformation. So just so you guys know, I am actually playing this on the enhanced difficulty, which is basically the difficulty you get at the end of the first playthrough. So when you go, when you have the option to go on a new game plus, basically, there's going to be an option where, you know, you can play it on a higher difficulty since you already have all these um, good skills and abilities that you've collected through your first playthrough. And I've chosen to do that to, uh, you know, make it more challenging, even though, you know, I basically have gotten Welcome all back. the stuff. And it is pretty tough. Um, I'm, I'll let you guys know that right now. Like, you are in for a difficult Hello. thing. A difficult fight. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. One thing I will say is I Over really there. like the character customization in this game. You, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I felt like I was able to make a character that came out pretty cool. Will love to know what you think of my character you know um i'm even be cool if you guys you know posted your characters uh what they look like in the comment section because you know i want to always be active for you guys and i um, always happy to respond and answer any questions you might have about the game or about you know what you, i'd be playing on this particular channel 
Yeah, my, my character is pretty drained. Definitely needs to get some plot up in him. Because revenants are basically vampires. Just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. I had been waiting for such a... Seems everyone, everywhere is thirsty. Yeah, from what it, it's a it's a drought going on. There is a I don't think that that's a big spo that uh, spoiler. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. Characters definitely going through some stuff it's right all right. now. All jacked up. Dude looks exhausted. So, it is you. So for anyone that's curious about how I'm gonna break up these videos, they're gonna primarily be um, up to each boss if I can. If I feel like it's going too long, I might um, do it up to this another particular you. point. But I'm gonna try and get a boss battle in for each video going uh, forward. Um, this video is gonna be like that. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> yeah, you we can really tell hit these the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Truthfully, like every single bad guy, you, you, they just have a certain voice in the way they say things. It's always obvious to tell when a character is going to be evil. Always. So it's about only about five minutes in this game, or maybe 10, 10 about 15 minutes into the game, and I've already been enslaved. So, <laughs> funny how that works out. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? Yeah, you better put on your mask, man. Put on a purifier mask so ironic that I picked up this game right before the coronavirus and stuff. I think, no, I had picked up this game during the coronavirus and it's all about wearing masks and trying not to, you know, breathe in that miasma, kind of like how we're wearing masks now. It was just an interesting parallel I was able to notice there. will join the rings of the lost in a flash, so be careful. So, what do you want to know? Tell me what is this place? According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. 
More concisely, it's a slave pen. I'm glad he admitted that we are slaves. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep... So... I'm sorry, guys. I accidentally walked a away. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Yeah, the lost don't care Still, if they have no heart because they're already dead. They just, they're basically like the zombies rabbits. that are mutated, honestly. You, you guys can tell me what you think of the lost in the Various comments. I'd love to hear any type of discussion you guys are willing first. to come up with. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the Lost. So basically, you're a vampire that could possibly become a zombie. That's if we crazy. If don't drink human blood, we join the Lost. But humans are scarce after the Great Collapse and all. But folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures. But we were needed to fight against the horrors. The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy. And there was a great war involving all revenants. Tell me about Missile. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. That pretty much covers what I can teach you. All right, let's go up this ladder here. Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. And another cutscene. Usually beginning of games are always filled with cutscenes because they gotta, you know, set up the plot, story, introduce characters, exposition and stuff. You know, that sort of thing. But you guys know that. You're probably avid gamers here, so I'd imagine so. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. You gonna kick a thick. plant that purifies everything? Damn like... it! We're running out of time before the next collection. That's so. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. Mm. You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. 
Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. I think me. that's one hundred thousand dollar question. Levy system was why Silva's does it idea. have to be us? Why if you does have a it complaint, have to be me? I suggest you take it up with him. Because you are the chosen. You like your nah, first. honestly, you Get are just work. in the wrong place at the wrong time. That that that's basically what this is. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, you can tell I hear the hunter has been showing up around here late, late. So hard. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. So one thing I want to let you guys... Hold Are on. you okay? I'll let this cutscene play out. It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. So one thing I want to let you guys know, uh, you'll see that I have this wrap on my shoulder. That's actually a blood veil, and each blood veil has actually kind of different abilities. Like, they can be used to counter, or you can get behind and backstab people, similar to what Dark Souls is. Um, and if you get behind someone and uh, with this type of blood veil, like the half shoulder one that I'm wearing right now, um, you will actually do a claw attack where you basically take your claw and smash it through someone's back or if you counter them you'll take it and ram it through their chest so basically it's about claw um there's another one where you have like this steel like tail and it will be jammed through a person's like uh body <laughs> dead lost um I've never seen one before. Yeah, I think, um, what's her name has it? Mia. Really Mia has it. She and if you don't know who Mia is, you will encounter her monsters. later in this game. So I've heard. Through my playthroughs. Pick up this lost shard. Uh, if you see me swinging the sword at dead bodies... Um, it's because sometimes the dead bodies can get up and attack me, and they're not really dead. And it's pretty terrifying. It's terrifying. This isn't a horror game, it's actually an action game. Action horror games you can play much differently than regular horror games because you're not a punk. <laughs> when, you're, when you're a horror game, oh god, you are so worthless. Like, you are just trying not to die like a actual horror movie character but luckily i got a sword so i'm not a punk so that's good to know all right let's smash these crates because sometimes there's items behind these crates and i'm just gonna kill this guy over here hack and slash hack and slash let's open up this here Ooh, a heavy axe gotta love those axes and oh, get Suga Tencho. That's why I, I was interested in the sword. Like if you hold it, um, you shoot off a blast at their face. But you gotta make sure you have Icor. Like you won't shoot anything out if you don't have Icor, which is kind of, kind of uh, the drawback to it. I thought you would be able to do it whatever you want, but I guess that would be be. And I just, yep, that's that's that claw counter I was telling you guys. Or claw backstab. I don't really counter a lot because um, I don't know about the counter system. It seemed like it would probably be similar, very similar at least, to Dark Souls. And I suck that Dark Souls counter. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Dark Souls 3. Uh, I was terrible at one. Uh, 
two I never got I played a little bit of but after playing three I didn't really care for it that much but um yeah Dark Souls 3 was very enjoyable and this kind of has that vibe to it uh a little bit like Bloodborne I want to say simply because like what you wear is lighter and you don't have to really worry about being heavy unless you got a giant weapon and usually that's going to consist of a giant ass sword and that's actually the, the next build I want to actually go through I want to have a a great sword build and um see how that works out Check these guys grab that up queen iron oh and queen iron you can actually use to um make your weapon stronger similar to like in dark souls and bloodborne where you would you know uh, increase or make your weapons stronger with a particular item or a particular element you found on the ground or after killing an enemy and then that would just go into your weapon and it would get stronger like plus one plus two plus three like I got my max out to plus ten but I'm gonna continue to pick these up just so like you guys might know where they happen to be at a lot of times sometimes they fall from enemy but sometimes they happen to be in places from what I remember um this place is one of those places where you can get turned around it's nowhere near as bad as cathedral of the sacred blood which is going to come up m m later m about i think it probably in part five yeah so um currently what i'm actually thinking of doing is having a um having a version of these videos of gameplay videos with me having commentary and then the, the optional one will be have no commentary so you guys can either choose to listen to hear me talk or you know have me shut up but um i've heard that some people actually find that boring so maybe you guys might prefer hearing me talk and this is lost at the end of the hallway walking all creepy like so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna end it like mm. All up in your back. Blood everywhere. Yeah. We live with that. <laughs> fire. Oh, and that's the fire move that um, you get that from Lewis. So if you happen to, you, there's this uh, this uh, style. I don't want to say style, but uh, blood code. Blood code. That's what it's called in this game. And you get it from Lewis. Um, he'll show up a little bit later in this game. And one of the moves is a fire projectile. And I like the fire projectile for Lewis because it's fast. It's fast and it does it does decent amount of damage if the enemy happens to be uh, weak to fire. I think it's pretty good. Um, you know, especially for ranged enemies, you know, you can dodge. I built my character... Uh, I built my character around speed. And, um... You know, he's speed and he's also dexterity. But, you know, naturally with any dexterity build, you have to have some strength. So that's what my character tends to revolve around. I know um, no build is actually perfect. And I know for a fact I'm not perfect. But I did manage to get through this game. Um, I have managed to get through this game before. Um, multiple times. Uh, well, I shouldn't say multiple, like twice. I've played it multiple times because I felt like my build was trash. So, like, I restarted the game a few times and all. But uh, eventually I got a build that was satisfactory. I'm actually, like I said before, I'm very interested in going through with a heavier build. Um, just seeing how I would do with that, with whether it be better, you know, that sort of thing. And being able to do a little bit more damage than what I'm doing now. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Oh. Look at that. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? See, he's letting his guard down. Ah, oh, he thought it was a friend and his mask is off. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, he, he scratched off like something. That kept the bias of his mask. I am so sorry, guys, for that yawn. <laughs> that could have gone better. It absolutely could have gone better for you. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. <laughs> you just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. And 
it's loading. So Oliver Collins, my boy, who I've just met, is hurt and he's telling me to go on without him. I hope you're alright. Go on. Gotta continue the fight. So the first playthrough, you have a trash weapon. Like you have a pipe <laughs> and you have a um what else do you have? You, you get like this this cement block on a stick that you use to beat lost with. Or I like to call them mutated zombies with. And uh that's what you get. <laughs> Very much souls like <laughs> the way they throw you in it. Mm. See, I don't know even know how I did that. It's just like I think I I kind of went up that rock formation and I jumped out and smashed them and gotta kill these guys. Get out of here. Roll there. Hack and slash. Hack and slash. usually see me with uh with uh sword type builds or anything where I'm gonna get close. Ooh, I'm right behind you and I'm gonna take this here and jam it right in your back and you're gonna bleed out. And up oh, and these things, regeneration extension factor, that basically means you can heal yourself more times similar to what the estus flask and how you could increase the amount of times you used it um as you can see i got the regeneration factor I, you have to make sure that you equip it though because it's not equipped like you have to go into your inventory equip that and then hold hit the down button and then use it and then that way you'll you'll see that you actually can heal yourself more than um, more than you were able to so that's just another tip uh, about this game and you guys are no longer going to be allowed to hit me anymore okay all right because you're dead and that's how that works out okay all righty now let's uh let's continue on this journey and that's that regeneration inducer. These are very useful. If you can get regeneration inducers, it you basically don't have to use your um, your other regeneration uh, item that you don't get back because you know you take those um, reducer items, and that means basically you have a, a bunch of regeneration stuff that you haven't even and you haven't had to use any of your items that you know you originally have or that you always have so regeneration inducers are very very useful you should pick them up whenever you see one and you should e have them equipped like in your inventory whenever you see them as you see like i currently have always my health um packs or whatever i use to regenerate up in that corner regeneration stuff regeneration factor i believe um, smash through here get this here glowing item oh mj018 those are useful because you can you use those a lot of the time to get uh skills for your blood code and that helps you become stronger because you become more versatile in your attacks and they're usually higher damage outputs uh, than your regular hacky slash type attacks, you know, your regular attacks. So you definitely want to pick up those anytime you see them and be happy because you just found a way to make the game a little bit more manageable for you, especially when you're first playing it. Uh, and, and definitely if you're on your second play, the second playthrough is harder if you're doing enhanced difficulty, so much harder. Oh my gosh. And we got this missile here. You always want to get those because that's a save point. Those are like your bonfires. You definitely always want to have those. Um, I'm just 
just looking around stuff. All right, I'm going to auto-replenish my items. Anytime you rest at one, it respawns the enemy like Dark Souls. And, you know, so I got I got another regeneration inducer. Mm. That's, good. That's that good stuff right there. All right, I'm going to hack that guy. Oh, and there's uh, there's that guy Are I was talking about. you a fellow about. explorer? Revenant stranger. It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment, too. And I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry, I'm not gonna stab you in the back. And my asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. All right. Yeah, I want to see how it. I can do this on, on my own. The I want to make choice. sure that um, I want to see if I can solo it. Um, I got all my stuff. My stuff is maxed out to ten. It's been fully fortified. Like I'm as strong as I can be at this moment in this game. Uh, maybe I might switch out some skills here or there, but like this is my maximum potential. As um, unless uh, other than level leveling up naturally always makes you stronger. You know, I just took that guy out with a little spinny tornado attack. I love that. Oh, yeah. you, you get that. Um, you get that from Queen Slayer Blood Code, which will come later on in the game. Slash. Mm, jump down. Oh man. Big guy, huh? Oh, you haven't known that I'm good at giving people else. Who dares to shoot me at this time? Dare to blast me? You think you can beat my system? The system of you dying and me not? Damn. Disintegrate and dash. So we basically got zombies and vampires in this game. I mean, I know they're revenants and lost, but lost are basically mutated vampires that are mindless slaves. And what else is mindless? A freaking zombie, that's what. <laughs> Climb down this here ladder. I'm gonna activate this blood spring. And this is which gives you blood beads, which is completing the objective, which is what I was meant to do, so I can get Io back. Oh yeah, the girl in white, her name's Io. I don't think that's much of a spoiler, but you know. And it's all shiny and magical. Get that blood bead. Look at it amazingly with a look of determination. All right, we just got that. Um, I think I go this way now. Yeah. And let's activate this missile. And that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just going to get all my items back because I'm not going back the other way anytime soon because I think I got everything I needed to there. Anything that's important for my particular build or just anything in particular that is important, like items that you want. Yep, I'm going to hack these dead bodies because they might not be dead. Uh, kind of like uh, Dark Souls. So Dark Soulsy. So Dark Soulsy. I don't remember that in Bloodborne. Like, if there were dead bodies just laying around and then you had to hack to make sure that they wouldn't come up. Shiny Venom Carter. And here we go. Got a loss. He's got tentacles hanging out of his mouth. Wait, is that a trunk? Does he look like an, a, a strange... Some type of weird... Morphic... I don't know. I'm gonna hack this guy out. Anyway... As I was saying, yeah, what, what I was getting into was the fact that he had, he looked like he had a trunk. Like, his face looked like, I thought it had tentacles, but it was a trunk. And, and so he's got an elephant trunk, and he's got this ghoulish eyes, and ghoulish features. And it's just, oh, uh, yeah, the moths look pretty gross. But I guess usually, uh, the tactics are supposed to be gross. I mean, good job on the developers for that. 
Um, he's right behind me. I don't like the fact that he's right behind me. He's got teleport, twist and turn, tornado slash. Yes, I honestly don't remember the name of all, all these attacks. I am so sorry. Little purple slime balls remind me of those mud monsters in Dark Souls 3. I'm pretty sure. This is Meme Souls. <laughs> Let's go up this uh, ramp here. And... Go up here. And I believe we're approaching our first boss encounter. I wonder who it is. I already know who it is, but I won't tell you guys. I want you guys to be surprised. Oh. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside your doubt. So, uh, I actually chose to have someone for this fight because he kept killing me. So there was an edit, I did die, uh, I think like twice against this guy, and I edited that out because I didn't want you guys to see, you know, me having to go all the way back and then die again and all the way back, and you guys would get bored of that, and nobody needs to constantly let someone die. I mean, I could do a blooper reel of me dying, but like, I wanted to maybe just, you know, get to the next part. I got Io here with me. She's not available like on your first playthrough, but on your second playthrough, you can pretty much have anyone you want to do you all the time. So I chose Io. She, she heals you and she does magic and she's got a halberd. So, oh, she heals you better. I, they all heal you, but she heals you better. And I just took that guy to town. Like, I took him to school. Yes, I had someone helping me, but give me a break. This is enhanced difficulty like and this is a in my opinion i thought it was difficult some people were saying it wasn't difficult but you know what i'm human i'm not perfect i chose and got help judge me if you want but you know i do what i do to, i do what i gotta do to win and it didn't, you know i didn't run away from hitting hands difficulty i played it All i'm gonna take that help just like in dark souls 3 i would take no that help exceptions. any day of the week Statue. Best to stay away from those yeah. stones. Anytime there was a phantom, I'm gonna summon him so he doesn't look at me. Into the lost. So I can hit him. Don't listen to the whispers. Without him touching someone me. Someone has to be sacrificed. All right, someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. So he just told me not to touch this thing. And guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to touch it. Hope I don't die. Wait, what are you... Let go! Oh, It'll swallow you up! Bye. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's all right. It hurts. Bio. Bio is so calm. You just look at me like, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're good, I'm good, everybody's good, everything's gonna be okay. What the hell? 
hell? And then we, you know, you know, we got to get our loading screen. just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood bloods. There are no exceptions. So these are Oliver's memories. Sorry. Sorry. Silver's control. Wandering revenants like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, or face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. Well, I guess you reap what you sow, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. And now we're gonna go through this big door. They have such morbid music when you're going through all their memories, man. Like, it, it's just it's just morbid. So, guys, try and, try and make sure you get that happy ending at the end of the game. Because there's a lot of depressing ones. But I know how to do it. Um, I'll talk to you guys about it as we go through. Um, I'm not at the stage where I can really, I mean, do anything about it right now. Because I'm still early in the game. So, naturally, um, I'll tell you guys about it. What the hell was that? When we get it there. was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. That sounded weird. I can't believe this. We both this. melted into what a you. power. I don't want any of you guys inside me. Oh, Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. And we just met Louis. I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching, guys.